Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we're going to be fitting the Ellie Kit DAC board. This is the PS3249R, famously known as. And then we're going to fit this inside the TU8100. First thing you need to do is take this apart. So take off the covers, take out the PCL86s. Boom. Using the Phillips screwdriver. So previous videos we, we've done is the construction of this board. Works really well. So we kind of wired it so we could just plug it into the DAC, sorry the Mac, and then play tunes through the, the RCAs here. But we're going to keep take these RCAs off and then use these wires to connect up internally in this, I believe. If you want to see the videos constructing this board, click here. There she is. Oh, glory. So this is where board sits. The holes here. So components going up. You won't be able to fit it the other way because the transformers are in the way. So pop that one in there. So the power supply to run the DAC is going to be coming from the mini B USB connection there. So you can see that we, we've got these that we were using with the RCAs for an earlier project. So they need to connect up to there. Do it that way. Cut, cut it about there. They're marked on the board so you can see that that's the right one and that's the left one. Now I'm reluctant to take the, the actual TU8100 apart. But you can see here that there's solder tags there and there. So I'm going to use those to do the connections. They're quite close, so I'm going to have to do some jiggery pokery. You can see on the underside there are tabs there. Older. Just tin the ends. So this is the right, so that would go in there. Fiddly this one. So 
So Ellie Kit, with their boards, they always have kind of um, con connectivity from one side to the other through the actual hole. So I know that this will be Cool. That's the left channel, isn't it? Yep. But you need to make sure you've got a bit of wire exposed there, like that. Cool. Now you might be wondering, what are we going to do with the earth wire? So I'm going to get some tie wraps actually first. You don't want these wires touching the valve. Right, so we have to connect the earths now. Now I'm going to use a bit of a trick. Is that thin enough? Try not to burn any of the other wires. Cool, let's solder it in. Oh, did I get you? And then solder that one. Oh, that's cool. So what you don't want is for any of this earth stuff wire here touching the chassis shouldn't do in that position and also you don't want the earth wire touching any of the signal bits either. So that should do it. Now what I've realized is when I built this originally I put the old Eddie kit sticker there but it's covering up. We need those bits exposed. So I'm just going to pull this off. Good. Right. So you can see now this is the rear view. You've got your input there, USB mini B connection, connector there. So let's um, turn her on, see what happens. We're all good? So we have the TU-100 kind of wired in, and you can see at the back, we've got the USB mini B connected up, and then Over holes. Half and half, Elvin Jones. So, the, I, I mean, I'm 
I much prefer the DAC input to kind of the headphone, so. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.